Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very nice homemade non-standard equation. We have x plus 1 multiplied by e to the power x squared plus 2x equals 1 and we're going to be solving for x values. I call this equation non-standard. You could probably call it transcendental too because it does not really conform to any standard type of equation like polynomial, exponential, you know, um, trigonometric, so on and so forth. So we have to use a special method to solve this problem. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to solve it. And you could probably guess at this point, but we're going to look, we're going to be looking for all solutions. I'm also going to show you a graph at the end. So if you like these kinds of equations, then this video is for you. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our equation first. We have x plus 1 being multiplied by e to the power x squared plus 2x. So if we had something like this, let's say x plus 1 multiplied by e to the power x or x plus 1 times e to the power x plus 1, then this equation actually would be pretty easy to solve, even though it's non-standard or transcendental, right? Why would it be easy to solve? Because it fits a certain criteria, which I'm going to talk about. So we have a special kind of equation or function, I should say, which is called Lambert's W function. I'll probably make a playlist of all the problems. I'll try to make at least one because it's kind of hard to find. I have a lot of videos on my channel, probably close to a thousand, maybe. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure about the number, but the channel has been on for a while, like three, four years, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, so I'll try to make a playlist so that you can kind of see, put it all together. But we are going to use a special function, which is also called W. So the way Lambert's W function works is it's actually the inverse function for t e to the t, which can be defined as then W of t e to the t becomes just t. So since we do know a log function whose inverse is the log function, right? We have an exponential whose inverse is the log function. This is called the product log because here in this case, you probably know that f of x is ln x. This would be the product log because t is being multiplied by e to the t as opposed to just having e to the t. So if you're using Wolfram Alpha, just go ahead and plug in product log, just one word, and then plug this in and you should be getting t as a result. And of course, whatever your argument is, right? So that's our goal here. We're gonna to try to make this fit this pattern. How do we do that? Okay, let's rewrite the equation. We have x plus one times e to the power x squared plus two x equals one. Again, at this point, you can definitely guess and check some trivial solutions, okay? But that's not the whole purpose. So first of all, Notice that the exponent is quadratic, but what multiplies e to the power something is not. It's linear. They can't be the different kinds. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first. Square both sides. That's the very first step. And you have to take the right step first so that you can always be going the right way. After you square what happens, this is a product, so I can go ahead and write it separately. Of course, when you square an exponential, you're just going to double the exponent. That's what it means, right? And then 1 squared is still 1. That's the good thing about it. Now, we're kind of getting closer to the result because if you expand x plus 1 squared, you'll get x squared plus 2x plus 1, and that'll be multiplied by e to the power 2x squared plus 4x. Great. Did I do anything new? No, not really. I just expanded x plus 1 squared. And why did I do that? Because now I noticed that, okay, this is quadratic and this is quadratic, but they're not the same. Okay, how can we set them equal? Well, we have x squared here and 2x squared. Let's multiply both sides by 2. Great. And that gives us 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 and that is multiplied by e to the power 2x squared plus 4x, and that's equal to 2. Do you see what is happening? Do you see what is going on? We almost have 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. The only thing that's missing is plus 2, but that's the exponent. In other words, 
we need to multiply both sides by e squared and that does the trick because when you add the exponents you get this make sense that's the whole idea behind solving this problem and i call this a homemade problem because i kind of thought about the idea but anyone else anyone can think about something like this and if you do have any lambert's w function ideas like this one let us know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to make a video about it okay great so let's go ahead and combine these two exponentials so that we can really put it in that form now we have 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 multiplied by e to the power the same thing which is super duper nice great so where do you go from here the next step should be applying lambert's w on both sides so we're going to put a w here a gigantic w and a w here and that should do the trick but remember the definition for definition for lambert's w function one more time if your input is t to the t then output will be as simple as t so when you apply it here you're gonna get 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 from here and when you apply it to 2e squared you're gonna get just the 2. how nice we got rid of a really complicated product and this is something simple it's quadratic moreover the constant term cancels out leaving us with a very simple quadratic factor out of 2x you're gonna get x plus 2 equals 0 this is the fun part you're gonna get two solutions right one of them is x equals 0 the other one is x equals negative 2. first question are these the only solutions second question are both solutions valid how can we tell well, we squared both sides, though so that might introduce extraneous solutions. So what we need to do is we need to check and verify both solutions. So we're going to go back to the original. And this is what the original equation looks like. You always have to check with the original, just like radical equations, right? So we're going to go ahead and plug in 0. 0 plus 1, of course, it's 1. e to the power 0 plus 0, which is 0. Now, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times e to the 0 is 1. So this is 1, correct. Good job. X equals 1 is a valid, valid solution. Nice. What about negative 2? Let's plug it in. Find out. Replace X with negative 2. You're going to get that. And then negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4. This is again 0. E to the power of 0 is 1. But this is negative 1. And as you know, negative 1 does not equal 1. So X equals negative 2 does not check. Why did it come up? Because we squared both sides and we introduced extraneous solutions now i know some people are saying like you don't have to do it that way absolutely not you could also go this way once you get to this point the rest is actually fairly easy but i just wanted to show you the power of lambert's w because you know what you may not always have something nice on the right hand side what if you had 5 e squared or what if you had just 5 then you wouldn't be able to simplify this easily but here's the thing you could also do this since both sides are nice you could say hey if this equals this then this equals this because they are the same you get the idea cool so from here we get the same equation the same solution so on and so forth let's go ahead and check out with wolfram alpha first of all uh, i think i don't i don't really include the result but you can see the intersection point as x equals zero is the only solution to this equation and this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.